Welcome back to Scorecast NX TV. It's Tim and Jacko. And now this setting, this month's graduates, is a little bit different, isn't it, to the news desk. Timbo, tell them why we are in the sun riding on this bad boy. Well, we decided that we'd better go on a couple's retreat because <laughs> The news centre was getting a little bit heated. It so we, was, wasn't it? We came it? out to my ex gym, Marbella, and we actually invited a load of other people to come with us. So we've had an amazing weekend workshop with a group of guys and girls absolutely smashing it in the sunshine. We've been out on a world famous obstacle course, we've been in Ninja Alley, and it has been absolutely we legendary. Jet skiing? Yeah, we went jet skiing, paddle boarding, and all the calisthenics stuff as well. And actually, Next, if you want to come next year in May 2020, we are going on another trip and the details for that are available in the description below and you can book for your place for that um, on the website. But do be quick because last year, they, uh, this, the trip we were on now was sold out in I think less than a week. So you need to be quick if you want to get on it. Yeah, it's a great experience. Yeah, and Tim, I do like your new vest you seem to have on. Yes, these are the new 2019 School of Casting Vest Edition with a little bit of this, the reminder of redefining your possible. These are available in the shop if you want to get yourself a little bit of School of Calisthenics stash. I have, I'm going to say that I'm very You're happy. You're rocking it. How well these came out. Right, less enough of us. I've just had it in my ear that the boys in the uh, studio, the analysis studio of the graduates are ready. Yes, they are ready. So over to Tim and Jacko for this month's graduates. Cheers for that, boys. It's nice to see you having a good time in Marbella. I mean, the closest we're getting to the beach is Jacko's photo. <laughs> is it a photo or a painting? Well, oh, that, yeah, there's a beach behind, yeah. Beautiful. Looks like, have a cocktail on me. Yeah, don't, because you're supposed to be working. Anyway, Jacko. Yes. What have you got in store for us this month we, on the graduates role? We have the May graduates. There may be some uh, awesome people doing some awesome things. No, there is. And we've got a, yeah, there's, um, there's actually the first one that's going to kick off at the beach. And so we'll we, probably we could do, do that. Should we go? Yeah. We talk about calisthenics. You can train in where, you know, it, it allows you to be with the family. And this, this embraces, I think, everything that is... Um, Everything that is cool about what we try to do with the, the school of calisthenics. Okay, I'm just gonna make us a little bit bigger. So yeah. Can see us. Right, ready? Yeah, hit it. Oh, yeah. yeah. Getting support. <laughs> <laughs> this is I love it. My, I, I know this pain with Jack. I'm trying to train Jack. Get out of the way. Well, he's, he's just trying to get a graduation video. Yeah. Left his shoes on, which is confident. Oh, is he ready? Yes. Great. Look at that. Amazing. And I think wife, I'm assuming they're married, is, um, or partner, is, uh, is a lot more impressed than the kids. Kids, kids, couldn't, kids couldn't care less. No, kids are just like, oh, go on, Dad. Get out of the way. On a climb. And a, and a, a human flag is of no mean feet and um, a very nicely qualified. And they had to... A lot of things to deal with there, including children getting in the way. Yeah. Onward. Well done, Owen. Love that one, mate. Well done. Uh, nosebleed. Yeah, so Bucky, um, he's done a couple of uh, the Instagram lives, and he's just been, he'd been working on Look his tuck up. I know. And how. Splendid. Holding, just go back here. Holding, like, so this, that middle section being of the, so frog, to handstand this this being that that's middle transition phase i'm just getting good and confident there and it was you know it wasn't long ago that it was that was completely impossible for him and so the, like tim says that alignment how long he managed to hold that if that becomes a stable position just like your frog stand you work between the transition between the two plenty of wall handstand work you are laughing yeah that is such a, if you can get strong in that position you've got you've got so much more capacity to have some fun because you just yeah you've got, always got some go to to uh, anchors in there to, to get good positions. I like that. It's really nicely done. And he's Buck he's nosebleed on Instagram. He's done a few of the Instagram lives so with us. I'm appreciating expert some love coaching. For... Largely from Jacko. <laughs> well done. Right, next one up. I saw a little bit of a glimpse of who this one might be. We we'll oh, just enjoy it. Oh, and the grunting. Yeah, no, well the, the effort noise is worth it. Good grunt. Now Jenny. Jenny came to Marbella in when was it? September oh, last year. Yeah. 2019 absolute legend and came and what, what i was so chuffed about with jenny is she literally came and she's like i'm just here to learn like i haven't really done a lot i'm trying to get back into my training and this was something that she's yeah. been working on for and a right. while and uh, the 
the sense of achievement and how, what it, it's like, this is all about her expression at the end. Which I remember reading this and she's like, I've been working on this for ages. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's have a look. Have... <laughs> <laughs> the bar pull over. <laughs> so proud. Yeah, and that's what it's about, learning to move in a new way, having fun whilst doing it, and then what, what other things is she going to go on and do now because she's ticked off one of those little yeah. things in the box. So it's not always about um, the full final thing. It's, it's, sometimes it's about with those little wins along the way. And actually, who doesn't want to do a bar pullover? And Jenny made that look pretty easy, but I saw yeah. another video of her trying some reps, and she could see how frustrated she was getting. But again, like confidence to go on and do some other stuff and to play around with that. I mean, you've, you've got that in the lock of your skin. The cat's going to start to get a little bit easier. Yeah. It's all just like building towards something. So massive congrats on that, Jenny. These wins are super significant. And then it just goes onwards to the next little challenge you set yourself. Good job. Claire Clark. We've actually just done an analysis on this on yeah. our webinar, haven't we? And for our virtual classroom, we did a video analysis session today. So we, we actually be able to give Claire a bit of breakdown and technique. But this is looking nice. So super high frog stand position, and it's the high, it's the strength to maintain that high position when she takes those knees Look off. At that. No dropping up, and then the last bit is just a little bit more slowly to just push out into that shape. So she's been doing some, well, she's been doing some work on that and getting straighter through in that arm position. But the this is the, one of those steps along the way of going like I actually got both knees off. I rotated, I got my hips stacked on top of the shoulders and I'm pressing out into that full handstand and it's just polishing off that final little bit of straightening up through there um, and finally getting uh, that full graduation uh, in the, the locker. And it, she's making that look really easy, she pushes up. But this little <laughs> bit here where it's almost that last little connection, you've got to push with that shoulder to get vertical. You've got to bring the torso line up to get a nice straight body position, but you can't go too far. So it has to be done with some real like precision. So that's just a little bit more time on learning where too much is and just building that extra bit of confidence to build that strength. Yeah. But that's a great position to start from. And actually just a little tip, because we, we get a lot of questions about sometimes around, um, do I need to straighten my arms before I straighten the legs? And the reality is you can, it, it's up to you, you can do, uh, do what you want. But in terms of maintaining that bit, being easy to maintain a balance, if we keep the legs in closer, in that tuck position, the balance is much easier because you haven't got to manage those legs all the way up here. So we bring them down. If we can straighten the arms out at that position and get them locked out, then it's less, there's a lot of strength going on to hold yeah, that yeah. position because we're not actually locking those uh, joints out. So if we do and then straighten the legs last, you're going to have uh, more success in the long term, but in the short term, it's going to be a little bit more harder and more frustrating. But that makes the journey uh, all the more um, enriching when you finally do redefine your impossible well said i like that enriching it's quivers and how's that way have you been in thesaurus on <laughs> i think so Stephen morton online client flag come on Stephen. he's been working with um seth who's in Ooh, charge hello. of our online yeah, easy float it Whoop. coaching boom. boom nailed it all day or literally, literally. <laughs> <laughs> he's going for the world record all right, Stephen. one minute and six seconds is the world record look at that know moving the shoulders yeah. rock solid i was like he's holding his legs <laughs> Unbelievable! That's he, really good. I think it's longer than mine. The only thing that beats that is that he's got one of the scorecards and it's rigs. And uh, uh, when he does it on that, that's the only thing. That beats so that. online coaching—that's what you get. <laughs> yeah, is that what you're saying? He's been—he's done, I think, two of the uh, full programs all the way through, Amazing. getting one-on-one -on -one feedback with Seth, our online coach. Um, and yeah, the results <laughs> I think speak for themselves. Marvelous work there. It's just that the strength to be able to hold that position for that long without moving. Done some good work there. Right. Reese the Jack oh. from the virtual classroom. This was his yes. first kick up to, to holding his handstand. And as I always say, in for ages, didn't he? Yeah. This one. A second this upside one. down, the first time you're holding a handstand feels like a lifetime. Oh. So, again, like the, the, we, you can talk about how, whether, how straight we are, but the, the thing about being able to get that first bit of time upside down a significant amount of time like it was there not just like one or two seconds and actually being able to make some corrections and when it just got too much and too far over then wasn't able to bring it back but is is there for time and from that you've got so much confidence to go on for for, for the rest of things if you want to do a frog to handstand you better be able to hold that handstand yeah. at the end so it's important to be able to have that in the locker yeah i think it's just a continual process then of just tidying things up that's just where yeah. your handstand goes. It's uh, we'll get, you've got to get onto that point where you can balance the start off. Yeah, start no one's first ever handstand is perfect. No. And what is perfect anyway, Tim?
let's save that for another day. Trevor Sexton came on the Tough Mudder event with us yes. just recently. Trevor's been in with us at the School of Center since the beginning. Literally day one. Um, great to hang out with him at the Tough Mudder very recently. And this has actually been one. I know I can see what he's been doing behind him. I'm thinking it's a human flag. <laughs> it's a handstand. And he's been working on this for some time as well. So this is going to be a victory. So this is the first nice. time he'd managed to get both legs off in his frog stand, which for some people, you see him, he takes one off and then brings the other bit. Like the first time even you take one leg off, it literally, you're in the frog stand and you're like, I've seen Tim take his knees off. <laughs> like, why do mine feel like they're glued to? And I think every, a lot of people then feel like there's, the reason it is is because there's something around their hips and their core that's mm. not strong enough to lift them off rather than actually your shoulders not being strong enough, the brain knowing they're not strong enough and just going, well, I'm not going to give you that option because we're just going to fall down. Yeah. The interesting thing is everyone is, well, I say everybody, the majority of people are strong enough in this portion of their body to be able to lift their lower body weight. You could lie on the floor in a number of different positions yeah. and you could do that. It's not that you're lacking particularly strength here. It's that you're lacking the neural connection and the strength to be able to do that whilst you're in this position. So it's a combination of things and just goes to highlight the way the, the body works as a complete system. It knows it's unstable here. Taking those knees off, the brain's going to go, why would you want to do that? But if you've got the strength there, you then start to be able to go, do you know what? Yeah, let you play. Let you play. <laughs> yeah. Great work, Trevor. That's looking good, mate. And onwards and upwards from there. Yeah, um, you can see them starting to go up, and then it's just a case of getting into that yeah. uh, inverted chair position from that. And then it's balancing that shape because you can see the body weight is behind and stuff. It all starts to get into it. But just getting those off is a massive win, and it just shows you've done some decent work on your, on your strength development. Yeah. Good job, mate. Satwello. Yeah. It's a flag. flag. It's Lowering flag. it down. A lot of flags. Flag flags this month. Nice. He's got, we've got a couple, of a couple of options the way he likes to get into these, which is nice. Um, so that was lowering down. And then Ooh, this to be able set. to come in and out and pull up. Let's have a quick look at that bit again. This is where people have got so much of, of opportunity to nail the human flag. He's getting this bit here. You're going to watch it as you come through. Watch that bottom shoulder. Yeah. It just moves it into a good position, locks it in, and then that's creating a stable foundation from that bottom arm push. Here he goes there. Boom. And it's locked push in there. away. And then yeah. you get it up. Nice. If you can get into some tuck positions, you're almost there. But yeah. like pulling up into that, your shoulder, uh, some of that strength in that bottom arm shoulder is going to – it's going to pay you in good stead for lots of stuff that you're going to do. Cause you've got to, you've got to have that like rear delt, yeah. like locked on. Um, and it's got to be firing white to be able to even like dangle yourself in that shape, let alone fully push out. Jackie, you're doing well this month. I'm enjoying the variety. There is a huge variety that we've got on our show today. Mason Martinez. Put some muscle up. He's in uh, the oh, virtual classroom and he is a boshing. Tidy. Them out. <laughs> oh, reps. Tops off, obviously. Look at that. Crikey, I'm not even going to... That's yeah. good. There's I'm a couple of... anything on that. Hey, look at the, the smile yeah. on his face. <laughs> One thing I wanted to just say as a really nice example of like maintaining straight body line, getting all the way down to full mm. uh, extension of the elbow and, and into full flexion of the shoulder and then actually being able and, and allowing himself to then spring out of that bottom position. And then also, as he's coming down, you see as he gets tired, he needs more and more and more what of that hit. shoulder mobility yeah. though at the top, but to actually get bring him back a smidge. So he's actually got yeah. really good um, his range to get into that transition yeah. is great. And he's got good mobility of the shoulder and he's a super happy chappy for he's that. And those. rightly it should be. Yeah, those are looking great. Right. I've been to Albafira, Tim. Have you? And that is what the sky is like the entire time. I didn't see um a cloud for two weeks is it as good as marbella yeah? um well i was camping and we had a lot of we had an ant problem imagine two camping for two weeks and scorching hot with ants with ants and my wife making us do like some sort of warm weather running training that no might be, camp. it might be by <laughs> friday afternoon that, that is preferable to two hours with mike <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mike's actually that's really, it's the same thing we're gonna be running around that i'm ready for the assault course this year anyway stephen lee what? Boom. The muscle up. Again, oh, happy chappy. We'll bust out some uh, dips work. at the top. Just dips in front of the top. Top job. More muscle ups. Yeah, so this chap is from South, rugby player from South Africa. And he nice. is making those look easy. You can talk about your faux pas position. Well, yeah. Before yeah, you good. do that, I just wanted to, like, it was interesting, a rugby player in, in South Africa and 
how calisthenics using calisthenics as part of a training program for developing here upper body power um like does he need to be able to do a muscle up for him to be good at rugby well not necessarily but is it giving him a, an outcome to train for that's developing his upper body power at the same time making sure that he's got good shoulder range of motion and good body control um well yeah and do we want good shoulder range of motion body control in in uh, in a sport like rugby of course we do so um, I might even add anything. You know, like okay. no, fine. Just okay, will fine. Um, just a little bit of space between the, the rings or some, between the bar makes it more akin to a ring muscle up because you've got some space to move into. But he's repping those for fun. It's still having to work hard, and his shoulders are looking good in terms of that rotation position. Sees it pops up. Just getting the elbow stacked up on top of the wrist to be able to provide a stable foundation for the dip. Yeah. Like it. And that is our graduates for um, the whole. Of May. Excellent. This, I, I've been, as I said, I've enjoyed the variety. I've yeah. enjoyed the competency. And that people are, what I enjoy the most is actually people take the effort to send us their, um, their examples of what they've been working on. Yeah. Them reading Friday and Impossible because it does make us feel very warm and fuzzy to see yeah. people out there absolutely smashing it. And sometimes way better than what we're doing. <laughs> <laughs> well, and, we, and we know that like seeing those wins along the way and we, we know that when you share that, um, and we're just like a medium for you to be able to share that through that, that that is going to, I know that that's going to inspire not just like one person, but potentially hundreds or maybe even thousands of people that are working on, they might have been working on one of those things that you were getting, or they're stuck on one of those things that was just done, whether it was a bar pullover, whether it was a full muscle up, mm. or whether it was just taking the leaves off in a frog stand. And actually that's just going to spur them on and give them some hope that, okay, it feels pretty difficult at the moment, but I've seen that person do it and I know that um, if they can redefine their impossible, so can I. So keep sending them in. And I think the th one of the things that I'm enjoying the most more recently, maybe I don't know if it's a, a season, Tim, but if, whether it's going to be ongoing. I like the, I'm almost enjoying the, um, the little wins along the way rather than like the full yeah, big yeah. thing. Because I, I think that you see more, you see more of the vulnerability. I think it's like yeah. halfway there. Yeah. It is like waiting. And sometimes I'm like that. I'm going to wait until I can do it properly before I start putting some stuff out and yeah. share it. But there's those victories on the way that give you, they're the ones that give you hope. Yeah. And give you actually, you know, they are important. Because a big, to try and get a perfect handstand for graduation, it's going to be a really long process. And I don't think we need to wait. <laughs> don't wait to 10 celebrate. years to send, yeah, like, send the video. I'm still working on mine and it's not perfect, but especially on some days, it's terrible. But food for thought. Yeah, but yeah, enjoy the little win. So don't feel like if you want to send us a graduation video, that it has to be the perfect thing. Send it in. If you're happy with it, we're happy with it. Yeah, we'll share it and encourage others. And that impossible might just be one of the steps along the way. And who, who's, and who is there to say that actually all you want to do is take one knee off a frog stand and that's it, you're retired. Yeah, <laughs> and that's cool because if that, that is. Yeah. That's, my wife has just done that. Karen's just literally she came home from the gym of the week and taking one buzzing. knee off. Absolutely buzzing. She it moved. It moved. <laughs> And even if that your goal is literally like one of those things, what will happen is as soon as you get to that, you'll go, well, actually now I, th I did think two was impossible, but I'm going to go for that. And once you do that, then you're going to go, I'm going to do the full thing. Too. And that's what it's all about. <laughs> Redefining impossible. Right, guys, thank you for stopping by. That is signing off from the graduation studio for today. We'll see you next month. Until next month. Class dismissed. <laughs>